All I know is there's about 15 geese that just landed right here. So let's pop up and see what we can do. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Hunter DD33 and today, the first flying species was just released on the Hunter Call of the Wild, the Canadian geese. Now with that, there's a DLC package and that will give you the Strecker side-by-side -side 20 gauge shotgun. And you can choose either the Fiona, which is the white one, or the uh, Raven, which will be the black colored one. Uh, the Scarlet is kind of like a orangish, reddish colored one, and then the Hazel is kind of like your dark cherry oak wood or walnut wood colored uh, shotgun. So I'm a little bit concerned the fact that it's a 20 gauge. Um, I don't really know too many people that hunt geese with 20 gauge. So I personally like this Fiona. I really like the white version of the uh, Strecker side-by-side -side 20 gauge shotgun. I think this is a really unique one and I think we're gonna get this one. So we'll get the Fiona. Yep, we have that. And now we need to get some decoys. Um, I don't know if we need to get all these. Okay, we have a feeding set, searching set, and a sentry. These are the ones that are basically the lookouts. These are the feeding ones, and these are kind of the, I don't know, just like the ones that are roaming around. But these are the ones you have to look out for. These are the ones that are going to bust you. So I think we're going to try and get a set of all of them. And now we're going to need to get some collars. So let's go into our collar section. And I guess we're going to use the Short Reef Canada Goose Collar, which is 6,000 uh, game credit. So we'll use that and get the collar. And next we need to get some uh, blinds, I guess. Some layout blinds. I don't know where that would be though. Equipment. Uh, portable structures. Okay, here it is. So it's in portable structures. And we'll go into layout blind and we'll have to get, this one costs quite a bit, 16,000 cash. So that's a pretty good amount. But what you're looking at here is an incognito deluxe layout blind. And these work pretty good. So it looks like we have really good camouflage and pretty decent scent. It's going to have no noise reduction. So we have to be careful and not make too much noise when they're coming in. So yeah, let's buy this. And I think we might need to get some ammo, actually. That might help. So we'll get some uh, 20 gauge. Probably don't want slugs or buckshot. Probably your best bet is gonna be some birdshot. So we'll just get a ton of these. We'll probably buy like 10 of them just for now. All right, that should be pretty good. We should be set pretty good there. Now let's go into our backpack and see if we can't figure out how we can fit all this stuff. I, I want to keep one bull with us just in case. I think we're going to keep the bear claw with us. So we'll keep that and let's put out our 20 gauge in the inventory. Alright, so we should have a 20 gauge. Yep, there it is. The Strucker side by side 20 gauge Fiona. That's a really cool name by the way. And let's get some shells. 20 gauge bird shot. Here it is. And now we need to load our collar up. Let's remove our red deer collar and our deer bleat. And put our Canadian goose collar out there. And now we have some decoys. I really hope we don't only have three decoys because it looks like we only have three decoys. Units five. Okay, it's showing that we have five. So we should have 15 decoys here. And the range of them is 546.81 yards. So I don't know if that's how far the geese can actually see the decoys from. And the attraction strength is 2.0. So it's not that much. So I would imagine the more you get, the more strength you can get. I don't know if we should buy a ton of decoys or not. I just don't know if it's necessary. And I don't like getting stuff that's not really necessary. So let's make sure we get our layout blind set up after all that. Let's see if we can put our deer collar back in because I like to keep that on me. Uh, I think we did. Yep, we did. All right, so we're all set now. Now let's go head out and see if we can't find a nice location to set up for some Canadian geese. All right, so the geese are located only on Hirschfelden. So 
you need to find a nice opening where there's a cornfield and I think you can set up on any cornfield that's open and find some uh, some geese. I'm not sure if just any spot is good or what, but my plan right now is we're over here by Ritterstein and I kind of want to go over here to this um, opening here, but at the same time, it's not that open. I think we're going to go over here over towards, uh, actually it's Mullerwald Western Outpost and I think we're going to go in one of these cornfields, like maybe here by this river. I think one of these fields here should produce pretty good for some geese. All right, so the next thing that we need to do that's going to be pretty important is set a time. Now, I would probably go around 5 o'clock in the morning because that's a pretty good time to go after some geese. So we'll set the time for 5.20 and see how that works out. Let's head out to the field and see what happens. All right, now we're going to set up our layout blind. And it looks like it kind of is horizontal. So you can't set it up this direction. You actually have to turn and point it the direction you want to go. So the left side will be where his feet are and the right side should be where his head's going to be. So I guess we'll just set it up right here and see what happens. How many can I set out? Oh, apparently I have two. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I guess we can choose which side we want to go to now. Now let's set up some decoys here. There's probably some way to turn these, but I just, I'm, I'm not sure at this moment. So we do have five of these, so we'll put, put them out here. And maybe one more over here. I can hear geese coming. Let's get some more decoys out. These are some feeding ones. These ones can come a little closer to us, actually. I'm going to try and leave the middle open so that, that way they decide to land. All right, well, I think we have all of them set out. The only way to find out is really hit our inventory and check, and it looks like they're pretty much all empty. We have our shotgun loaded in slot one with 120 shells. Oh, our collar in slot four. And I think that's all we need, our shotgun and our collar. We already have camouflage on, at least we should. Now we just gotta get in our blind and see if any geese come in, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how this works out. Uh, actually, I think we wanna, how do we get out of here? Okay, you have to push Z to exit. Yeah, I kinda wanna move these. How do you, how do you remove it? Uh, wait, okay, you just gotta go to the back by this bag and then hit E and that will remove it. So I would probably recommend setting out your decoys. Oh, there's a goose, there's a goose. I would probably recommend setting out your decoys first so you know exactly like what position you wanna be in. Wait, is that a goose? All right, so I hope there's a way to make these icons go away because that's gonna be a little bit distracting, especially if a goose lands down there in the decoys. How are you supposed to even see it with all these icons up here? All right, guys, I think you're gonna thank me for this because I just figured out how to remove these icons from the geese decoys. Now, all you have to do is hit F3, go into system, and go into game, scroll down to, where is it here? Okay. POI icons right here POI icons and all you have to do is turn that off and you're set all right so about this spot I probably wouldn't recommend this spot I've been sitting here for about an hour now um, in game and I haven't even seen a goose flying anywhere or heard a goose so apparently they don't just fly everywhere you have to find a good spot and we're gonna do that now we're gonna move to a different location pick up all these decoys there's got to be 40, 50 decoys out here right now. I didn't realize how many decoys you could actually put out, but there's a ton of decoys. Uh, at least we can get a good look at them and see pretty much like what they look like. But yeah, I haven't seen one goose in this location. So let's see where we're going to go next. Right here, this is where we're at right now. I think we're going to go over towards... Right over here is uh, Schoenfeld Outpost. Right over here is Tichino and... Um, Shunfelt right here. We're right in this very first field right on the left side of Shunfelt's straw fields and set up right in the middle There's just absolutely geese everywhere here. I, I can't believe how many geese are here All right guys, we got geese approaching us right now three of them flying right over the top I'm hoping that they can see our decoys All 
Uh, apparently they didn't like it. Oh, we have more coming. This is the first flock that I've seen so far. I've been to several different locations and apparently this is a decent location here because we do have some geese flying over the top of us. Although they're not seeming to break for some reason. We have plenty of decoys out. I don't know why they're not interested or what's going on. I might put a couple more decoys out and see what's going on here. Oh, oh, I just saw some break. It looks like they're breaking. I can hear them behind us. Are they coming in? Oh, they're right on top of us. One landed right on our head. Oh, come on. Look at this, look at this. Oh, got him! Oh, they came so close, right on top of us. That was pretty cool. Yeah, there's the first goose that we got right there. And it looks like we have some breakers. They sort of turn direction. I think that's what they do, and then they come around the backside which I don't like that because we don't really have a setup for the backside. We might actually put another blind facing this direction that when that happens again. Yep, they broke, they broke. They're coming in. They are coming in. At least this time we might be able to get in position to take a shot on some of them. Yeah, here they come. See, they're right behind us. I don't like that. Let's take a shot. Got one. And got two. So we got a double there. More coming in. I don't know if they're too high or what. Yep, too high. I just wanted to find out to see if we couldn't take a shot at one that high or not. Oh, there's a goose right there. Right on the ground, there's a goose. Look at it. Got him. One's going this way. Oh, missed it. Yeah, here they come. You can see they're circling around. They're about to come over these trees. And here they come. Oh, they're coming in nice this time. Coming in real nice. Nice shot on that one. And... Okay, that should have definitely dropped that one. But it didn't. Some more geese up above us here. I don't know if we can even take a shot at one of them. Oh, we can spot them. Three very easy. Six to seven score on them. I did not know you could spot them. Oh, we got him hit. There is absolutely geese everywhere here. All right, we have some breakers. I'm going to try and spot some of these this time. Oh, I couldn't quite spot that one. Oh, see, you can't even really spot them without... Without spooking them. Well, at least we got one. I was just trying to spot one of them. But we happened to jump out and spook everything. So that wasn't too good. There's geese ever that just took off as well. Alright, so you can't actually spot them until they're in range. Then you can spot them and then you obviously have to shoot them. But... Let's try that next time. Wait till they get in range and then get ready to take a shot this time. I'm gonna see if I can't get rid of that symbol thing that keeps popping up. We should be able to get rid of it. It would probably be... Uh... Nope, that's not it! Oh! Goose just flew in right over the top of our head. All right, so what happened is the game just ended and I had to start a new game. But what I want to do now is, since the geese all come from this side and we're up on that hill, it's really hard to get on them in time without them actually seeing you and spooking. So this time I'm going to try and put the layout blinds towards the bottom of the hill here and see if that does any better. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this, but it's worth a try. I think we should be alright right about there. And we'll set another one off that direction there. Alright, let's hop back in. I think this might be set up pretty decent. 
So if anyone has any idea on how to get rid of this Z icon here that pops up every time you turn, I would love to know how to do that. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I just haven't figured it out yet. I'll keep trying and let you know if I do, but if anyone figures it out, let me know, please. I really appreciate that because I know how annoying it probably is to see. All right, we have geese approaching, coming right over the top of our decoys. So we're setting up pretty good right now. More geese over there. Looks like there's two flocks of them. But this might work out quite a bit better because now we can swing all the way over here and all the way over here. And we can see them the whole entire time instead of only when they come right behind us. And then we have to try and pull up and see if we can't get lucky. But this time we might actually be set up decent. All right, here they come, here they come. They're coming low, really low, coming right to us. No, I didn't push anything. Why is that happening? Okay, why can't we hit that one? I did not push anything, so I don't know why we popped up out of the blind. It's got to be some kind of glitch. Another big flock coming in over there. If we're lucky, we might be able to get one or two of these geese. Well, I guess we'll just pop up and see if it jumps up. Okay, now it didn't pop up. Ooh, this flock's coming in good. I think we're gonna wait for this flock to come in. Can I pull out the binoculars or is it gonna jump out and scare them too? Oh, okay, good. So you can pull out the binoculars. Ooh, this is a nice goose. Uh, this is a four easy six to seven score estimate on them. That's a female. Might as well try and spot some of these geese while we're at it. Can't spot any of these ones. At least the big one's right here, 21 yards out. Four easy, I think that's a pretty nice goose. All right, I think we're gonna take a shot on them. Here we go. Got him! Another one? Oh, didn't lead him enough. Got two hits on that one and still didn't bring it down. Okay. That's good to know. Look at all the geese just took off. That was a nice goose there, but I'm pretty sure our, our uh, consecutive harvest is going to be at like 0% because we have so many geese um, flying around wounded here. So I'd like to get a couple more first before we go pick up that one. But I think that's going to be a pretty good size one and definitely a gold potential goose. It'll be really cool to get a gold goose. All right. Looks like we have some geese coming right in. Coming right in right over the top. I don't know if they're broke or they're just coming in low, swooping around or what's going on, but they're definitely too high for a shot. There's another flock of them behind over there. I'm pretty happy we got a four easy down already though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of wish you could spot them as they fly over you, but it doesn't seem like you can. All right, we just got four. Oh, this whole flock just circled around. I wonder how many times they're gonna circle around before they actually come in. That's a pretty big flock. Oh, this flock's coming in now. Here they come, here they come. So let's see if we can't get two this time. Looks like they're all landing. Why are they landing? Actually, that might be good. We might be able to get a double. I wonder if we can actually get a double. All I know is there's about 15 geese that just landed right here. So let's pop up and see what we can do. Got one. Got two. Come on, reload, reload. We can definitely get one more. Nah, it's not worth it. We got two. That will help our consecutive harvest out quite a bit. Oh, can't spot him. So, I'm going to guess that's probably the one that we got. Look at that. Let's take a shot on him. Hey, hey, we got one. 
Oh, he was hit, but he's down now. He's still, he's still flopping over there. What the heck is going on? And just in time for another flock of uh, geese coming in here. Oh, here they come. Nice. Okay, that should have been a good shot on that one. I don't know why it didn't drop, but had a perfect lead on him and everything. At least we got him, though. He's down there. So there's one goose down there. One down there. Uh, should be one down over there. I don't see it, though. Holy look at the geese. Look at the geese. These two are coming right to us. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought we had a double. Come on, reload, reload. We got to get this one. Come on, come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He's hit hard. 50% health. 25. Wait, is it going to go down? 25%. Come on, go down, go down. How cool would that be if it just dropped out of the sky? No way! No way! They actually go down! Oh, that is so cool. 150 yards out, it just dropped. So after you hit them twice, pretty decent. They will go down. And you can keep your consecutive harvest at 100%. That is so cool. Alright, so so far there's a lot of really cool things about the geese. And mostly they're all positive. But the bad thing is, this is the third time in a row my game just crashed. Before I had a chance to harvest any of the geese, well, we accidentally ha harvested that one one time, but other than that, all the other geese disappeared, especially the one that landed way out there. I really wanted to see how far the second shot was and um, what the quick kill bonus was on that goose and everything like that. But So this time, we're going to try and collect the geese as soon as we get them. And I would recommend the same thing for that for you guys as well. As soon as you get a goose and it goes down, run out there and collect it immediately. Don't sit there and wait for more to come in. Because you're probably going to regret it. Especially if there's a gold or a dime potential goose. See if we can spot them. Uh, three very easy. Six to seven. So a decent sized goose. I would imagine a seven plus goose is a nice one. Four easy. That's the one we want. Come on. We got to get this one guys. That's the one we want. Come on. Let's see if we can locate them. Yeah, it's to be expected. There's a few glitches going on. As you can see. Oh, we got some geese coming in here. Hopefully. Hopefully the big one's somewhere. Oh, what do we have here? It's a two minor. Oh, we got her. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Just wanted to see if there was a big male anywhere. Actually, yeah, let's take a shot on one. And see what our consecutive harvest is at. We aim for the neck and head on that. We're at 0%, as you can see. This one scores 5.3. It was a female. Pretty decent damage to it. So we need to get our consecutive harvest way up. So it works really good at about 20 yards. Any more geese coming in? Yeah, see there's a bunch of glitched out geese over there. We need to get our consecutive harvest up. 4.7 on that one. And we're back to 40%, so that will help out a little bit. And there's a goose flying up in the air here. I don't know if it's glitched out or what, but I wonder if we can even get this one. Let's try zero in for 50 and see what happens here. Whoa, pretty nice shot, 50 yards, he's hit. I'm trying to go for a headshot, but apparently it wasn't working, so he took a shot. I don't even know what this one's going to score. Can we even pick it up? Hey, we got one. The only reason we're doing this because they're glitched out and they're kind of messing everything up. But not only that, hey, we got another one. 54 yards, we just dropped that one. I don't know how far it actually was, but let's pick up these geese and see if we can get our consecutive harvest back up to 100. Uh, 4.7, that shot was 67 yards. I don't even know how many we hit, but uh, we're at 60% for our consecutive harvest, though. 
The shot was 66 yards and we're back to 100%. 0% integrity because, well, we probably shot a little bit too many times. What do we have here now? Where do these two geese come from? I do not remember these two geese. Okay, then. All right, we have another flock of geese coming in. I just spotted this one right here. He's a six to seven, three very easy, a nice male goose. He's right there out in the front right side. And we're gonna see if we can't try and get this one and get a gold potential goose. So come on, hopefully he comes in. He should. Found him. He's alert. Come on, come on. Do it, fly. No, not that way, fly this way. Oh, turn around, turn around. At least we found the big goose, he's right there. Oh, the geese are flying all over the place here. Come on. Come on, come on. Fly this way, fly this way. Got him! Oh, we only had one shell left. That's all right, that's all I wanted. And let's hop out quick. Go over and go take a look at our goose. 7.0 gold, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen and the game just ended. <laughs> so we got a total score of 819. <sighs> All right guys, so I was a little bit upset about that. We finally got a gold goose and the game crashed once again, one more time. But as you look here, you can see the game registered our 819 scoring gold goose. And here he is right here. He scored 819. Um, I don't really remember where we hit him or anything like that, but he was like a 700 uh, score and I think we got like a thousand cash for that. Anyways, I'm really happy that we actually did get a gold goose in the end and the game crashed one more time. I'm not so happy about that, but at least we got to see a gold goose and at least hopefully it gives you guys a good idea on what to expect for the Canadian geese and, and how to hunt them. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. That's a monster. 159 to 213 score estimate and 187 to 220 pounds on that buck. All right, let's go with that and let's pick him up. Oh my God, a 210 scoring diamond whitetail buck. I can't believe he was that big.